And prosecutors admitted that they tried to learn something following the William Porter trial and also the jury that deadlocked in that case. They called Porter an essential witness, saying his public saying his testimony may be necessary to the public interest, but they had difficulty convincing a judge. I think there was a skirmish today that took place. Uh, the defense won the procedural skirmish, but the trials are going to continue. The judge wondered if prosecutors came to court pushing for a delay, but no postponement at this point in the trials of Baltimore police officers Edward Nero, Garrett Miller, and Lieutenant Brian Rice. Judge Barry Williams ruling against the state's motion compelling Officer William Porter to testify in those cases, the state calling Porter an essential witness. The judge did put on hold the trial of Lieutenant Alicia White. In an earlier ruling, he decided to compel Porter to testify in her case and that of Officer Cesar Goodson, who drove the van transporting Freddie Gray, who died in police custody. During Wednesday's hearing, Porter's defense attorney, Joe Murtha, argued he believed prosecutors sought a postponement, saying they want to take Porter, his client, hostage for five cases and torture him at his own trial. The Maryland Court of Appeals is considering whether to compel Porter to testify in the Goodson trial, and Porter has already said he will refuse to give testimony and stand on his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination. I think the state has to make some decisions. I think the state, like many of us, were not prepared for the appeals court to intervene in the criminal prosecution before a trial was held. Um, so right now I think the prosecutors are going to review this ruling and we may be hearing more before the next trial. Now Officer Porter's retrial is set for June. Sergeant Alicia White's trial set for February 8th has now been put on hold. Officer Nero's case is scheduled for February 22nd with Officer Miller and Lieutenant Rice. Their trial set for March. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.